hey guys welcome back to another video and today i just really wanted to start by thanking you guys for all your support we've officially hit 200 subscribers in less than a month so guys let's continue this trend leave a like subscribe and a comment let me know what you think about the video and what you want to see next as that last video showed you guys with the magic i actually do really take into consideration what you guys want for content so guys nikola Jokic is the mvp again now i know obviously it's still december and anything is really possible but I think it's time for us to acknowledge that he is just that good right now. Nikola Jokic currently is averaging 25, 11, and 9. Jokic is nearly averaging a 25-point triple-double, which is insane. And honestly, it's even more incredible because this reflects in the half-court offense of the Denver Nuggets, who, as we're about to see in this picture right here from Cleaning the Glass, are currently sitting at number two overall in the league with seven, 117 points per possession, 99 points per play, and they're only 19th in the league in how much of the time they're in the half court. But I think that's in part because Jokic is actually better in transition than some people think. think. And honestly, guys, this team is doing even better than I thought they would. A lot of people did project that the Nuggets would be a number one to two or even top three seed with the return of Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. But as both guys have had their ups and downs where Michael Porter Jr. might give you a 30 piece, the very next night struggling to give you 12, what's so impressive to see is just how Jokic is the constant. And Aaron Gordon is having the best year of his career because of the impact of Nikola Jokic. And all of this shows to me why he's the MVP. It doesn't matter who's around him. He's going to make you better. And we're going to see today all the facets of what makes Jokic an absolutely incredible player. But again, guys, just remember, leave a like, subscribe, and let's get into why Nikola Jokic, yet again, is your NBA MVP for the third time in a row. So first, what we're going to break down here today is actually Jokic's defense, an aspect of his game that I believe that tends to be underrated. So when we're going to watch this play right here, we're going to see a, a, a potential cut by the man, but it's instead going to get passed out to Hayward, who then gives it out to P.J. Washington. But immediately what Jokic does here is body up, then forces Washington to have an uncomfortable hook shot or a turnaround fade. And honestly, Jokic takes advantage because of his size. And now we're gonna see three really good defensive IQ plays from Jokic, just the team struggling to finish it out. So we're gonna see here is a screen set by Aiton, but Jokic immediately swipes. And he does this to help the rookie from the Denver Nuggets and Christian Braun catch up. And now Aiton's about to get the ball here, but Jokic immediately bodies up because he fumbles the ball, knowing that it's a good time to stop him from being able to do anything. And Aiton gives the back ball back to Chris Paul. Now notice the shot clock, five seconds. At this point, with Paul driving towards the mid-range and Jokic being right there, the pass is impossible. So Jokic just sticks to Paul and gets the miss. But here's what happens next. Aiton gets the tipping. You see, moments like this are going to be a reason that people are going to argue, well, Jokic is a set and Jokic's defense isn't good enough to help you win. But my one pushback to that is, but does Jokic have a good enough team defense to help him look better to win? Because right now, a lot of people act like Jokic is a below average defender, and that's just not true. I would say right now, considering the team's construction, Nikola Jokic, at best, is a slightly above average. Or at his worst, is average to a little below average, depending on who the big he's playing against. And I think if you gave him a team like Giannis does, or give him a Brook Lopez even, now yes, he doesn't quite have the speed that Giannis does to have that complimentary help, to give him more help on defense is going to show why he's just so valuable as a defender. Obviously, guys, this is not something that a lot of people tell you. It's usually, but look at the VORP. The VORP is so impressive. But Jokic is actually good on defense. It's not just about how incredible of a playmaker he is. But that's the next thing we're going to analyze. Jokic right here is going to give a dribble handoff uh, to Bruce Brown, an incredible pickup for the Nuggets, and gets the screen. And Jokic right here has Jeff Green set a screen. And now look at how the entire defense's eyes are almost gazed on Jokic. And Jokic just gets the easy overhead pass to Jeff Green for an easy dunk. And this is the most beautiful pass of the year so far. Jokic sets this pick right here. And you're going to see again, Bruce Brown goes. And Jokic plays center for the NFL. And the most beautiful bounce pass for Bruce Brown is he drives and dunks it in. Jokic is such an incredible playmaker because as I've been watching more and more of his film, I guess it's a weird way to describe it, you guys, but it's almost like he's a master of motion. He knows where his guys are going to be. He knows how that will then cause the defense to respond, 
and then like a surgeon nothing but critical strikes pinpoint releases pinpoint throws knowing where exactly it will be look at this jamal murray play he staggered and immediately Jokic knew okay the defender didn't react and jamal knew this it was time to drive what aaron gordon's going to do here is impressive too is Jokic just immediately can recognize gordon's ready for a dunk it's just so incredible to see what this man can do as a playmaker and again he's up there with the likes of steph curry and Luka Doncic, according to B-Ball Index, his box creation right now is at 15. And box creation, guys, if you don't remember, is just how many open shots you create for your teammates. And that's in the 99th percentile. But now we also got to look at Jokic as a score. Now here he's initially stuffed, but here's what Jokic again does great. He gets the defense in the motion and gets the foul for an easy and one. And the next critical scoring play we're going to look at here is like off a dribble handoff to Bruce Brown. He immediately then kicks it out to Aaron Gordon. Jokic uses his body again to size up on this poor defender and just gets a beautiful spin for an easy lay -in. So back to what we were talking about. Look at how incredible of a scorer Jokic can be. Look at how much even better of a playmaker he is. And honestly, you guys, he's an average defender. And that's just considering the current team roster construction. If we gave him even slightly better perimeter pieces, he would look a lot better. He would be above average to even a good to great defender because of the help around him. But honestly, here's why Jokic again is the MVP. All of these factors together are just too hard to overlook. Now, to be honest, Giannis is having a bit of a down year even for himself just efficiency wise and just looking at the team. And now Tatum has started to cool down. I know he's had his 40 point games, but the Celtics went from the best offense of all time to now slightly decrease. And Jokic has had this team on historic paces, but you guys already knew all of this. So again, I guess my biggest point here is do not let this idea of voters fatigue stop you from spreading the truth. Right now, Nikola Jokic is the MVP. As long as they stay as a one seed, barring Boston or Milwaukee going crazy record wise, and Giannis and Tatum at that point keeping their statistical pace, Jokic is the MVP. And honestly, it's crazy because, you know, considering how many people tried to slander the last MVP from him, especially, I really hope that these narratives and pushes aren't going to negatively affect his chances. The idea of voter fatigue needs to end. If Giannis or Jokic deserve the MVP, then they deserve the MVP. Same thing for LeBron back in the 2010s or Jordan in the 90s. Whoever the MVP was, let them be the MVP. It doesn't matter if you voted for them before. If they are the most valuable, they're the most valuable. Nikola Jokic, again, is creating 15 open shots for his guys. That's the 99th percentile, similar to Steph Curry and Luka Doncic guards much more mobile much quicker but Jokic is arguably the best passer in the league and arguably a best passer of all times guys this was Emser knows hoops and this is why I believe Nikola Jokic is about to become a three-time MVP thank you all for listening it has been a struggle trying to record this all the franticness of everything thank you all leave a like subscribe comment tell me what you think do you think Jokic deserves to be MVP or is there somebody else that you would personally give the award to thank you all have a great night thank you